Hey everyone, this is Lindsay with HowDoI5.com and today we're going to answer the question, how do I create and distribute a newsletter using Microsoft Word? Well, I have to say Microsoft Word has come a long way and there are some really great templates inside of Microsoft Word that will make uh, you know, managing your small business much, much easier. And one of those is a newsletter feature or a newsletter template that you can then distribute through your email. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Microsoft Word. You see I have it here open. I'm using the 2007 version of Microsoft Word. I'm going to click on the logo icon, which is really your menu options. And I'm going to say new right at the top. And here, of course, you have the option of doing a new, doc, a new blank document, a new blog post, or you can choose from the templates that are going to be here on the left-hand side. And I'm going to choose a newsletter template. So I'm just going to scroll down. Everything's in alphabetical order. I'm going to scroll down to newsletters. Once I click the category newsletters, I'm going to see a bunch of different options. These are all pre-made newsletter templates that are already inside of Microsoft Word. And let's say I'm going to click on this business newsletter because I want to edit this. I want to see what it looks like. When I click it once, the right-hand panel will show me a preview of what's going on with that newsletter. If I want to open it up on my computer, I'll just go ahead and click download. And it will take a minute, depending on how heavy the graphics or the colors are within the newsletter, it may take a few minutes for it to download onto your computer. And now we're here, and you see basically this is a pretty clean layout. I mean, it has some basic clip art and graphics in there. Um, there are quite a few pages. I believe it said there are six pages. Of course, you do not have to use all of those pages. Just delete them from the bottom uh, if you have extra pages, and everything will sort of reorder itself for you. So here at the top, if we move all the way back up to the top, you can see that you can change your newsletter title, and most of this is just dummy text, and it's going to prompt you you know, and give you an idea of what you should have here. So, of course, you're going to put your own newsletter title. Um, right above that, you can change the newsletter date, the volume number, the issue number. And then you'd want to have your company contact information right at the top there below the header. And, of course, then you start to get into your, uh, you know, your passages within the newsletter. And here on the right-hand side, it looks like we have a table of contents, which, of course, you can change just by clicking on it, you should be able to go into a box and change and edit things. And then finally, the last thing that I want to show you is um, changing out a picture. A lot of the templates are going to come with default pictures that may or may not be applicable to your business or to the content that's within your newsletter. So you can always delete a picture by just clicking it once and just hit delete and it's gone. And if you want to insert another picture in its place, maybe something from your desktop, you just click the Insert tab from the main menu at the top. This is going to pull up a bunch of options for things that you can insert into the Microsoft Word document. We're going to go ahead and just insert a picture. And let's see. Let's just insert a sample picture of this cat. <laughs> and there you go. And then the cat's there, of course. You can resize it when you hover over one of the corners and the, the little blue square is there. Or you can also... Uh, change the height and width options up here at the top, change the, uh, change the alignment and, and things like that. All of the normal options that you would have to edit pictures. And again, just move through the content and just click on boxes and that's really all you're doing. You're clicking and replacing, clicking and replacing. And then you have this nice template that's already laid out for you. And now here's the very, very cool part. It's that now you're going to save your template we're going to save it as our newsletter. And I'll just save it on my desktop for now. And now I want to figure out how to distribute this newsletter in a very, very simple and easy way. And the best way to do that is to just let it attach itself as a PDF and send it to your mailing list. So again, we're going to click on the logo up in the upper left-hand corner, which is your main menu. And now we are going to send, and we are going to send email as PDF attachment. When you click this, of course, it's going to open your default mailing system, whatever you may have. And let's say I'm going to send it to ourselves. And if we could say 
you know, May newsletter. How do I five? And of course, here you could have a greetings, uh, hello friends, and you have your text here. Insert your signature and send. And so you'll see automatically that that email was already preloaded with your PDF attachment. And then now we're going to come to our mail. It might take Again, it might take just a minute depending upon how large that actual newsletter is, but it shouldn't take more than, you know, a minute or two to come in. And there we go. So I see that it came from Lindsay Schaffer. I'm going to display images because now I'm in Gmail. Of course, it's displaying this random signature that I put in there. But more importantly, here's our newsletter attachment at the bottom, and we can view it or we can download it. Right now we're just going to click and view it, and there it is. That's our newsletter. So that's a really simple and easy way to create and distribute a newsletter using Microsoft Word. Of course, whenever you're sending to a group of people, it's really good to create a list that you can VCC, meaning blind carbon copy, so that you don't expose a lot of email addresses. You want to protect, of course, your, your prospects and your clients' um, privacy at all times. If you have any more questions on how to create or distribute a newsletter or use themes and templates in Microsoft Word, submit us a question at howdoi5.com.